Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share some of my favorites for the past year. It is officially 2022 and yeah, I just thought I would reflect on the past year. I thought I saw a few people posting videos like this and I really like watching them. So I thought I would create one myself and yeah, there's just items that I really enjoyed using this past year and that um, maybe you guys could use going into the new year. So let's get started. So I am definitely not a huge makeup person. I don't wear a ton of makeup and I don't buy a ton of makeup. I'd rather buy clothes or like accessories but for me like I buy things and they become like my staple things So I just like reuse them over and over and over like I'm not like going to Sephora every single VIP sale or whatever and like buying a bunch of new shit to try I just literally stick to everything I know But one thing that does get me is the Vogue videos so like people who like do their like 10 minutes of makeup or whatever on Vogue and Kendall Jenner did one and she used this lip liner which is the Giorgio Omarani um, lip pencil in the silk lip pencil in 12 and it kind of looks like Teddy or not Teddy um, Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk but it's a little bit darker and I am kind of wearing it on my lips right now so you can see what it's like but she like swears by this she said it was like one of her secrets or something so I bought it and I was like okay this is expensive like I think it was like $40 or something which is kind of expensive for like one lip liner but I literally use it all the time so I've used it like throughout the whole year and I almost need to buy a new one because it's getting so small. So yeah, I really like the color. I find it a little bit deeper than Pillow Talk. Sometimes I find Pillow Talk a little too like pink for my face because I feel like I'm naturally already like pink tones. So then when you put Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk on top of that, sometimes it gets like a little like mist I feel like. Whereas this is a little bit more like red and it definitely stands out more on my lips and enhances that natural color which I really like. So yeah, even though I'm not a huge fan of the Kardashians, Kendall Jenner, I agree with you on this one. This is an item from Dior and it's the Dior Nail Glow and I either have my nails done like completely, like I'll go and get shellac or I'll get acrylic nails and like I love those or if I don't then I use this my friend stole this from her mom like her mom had the same product and she's like yeah like I stole it from my mom it's so good and it's like literally I don't know how to describe it I don't have it on my nails right now because I just took off acrylic and my nails literally need to breathe for like five seconds but it's like the shiniest prettiest gloss on top of a nail like it, it dries in like literally like 10 seconds and it's just so pretty like you can layer it and make it even more pretty and it's just like this light glossy color like it obviously looks really pink in the container but it's not it's like a clear coat and it's absolutely amazing like i'll post a photo of it on someone other than my nails because my nails are literally tragic right now but if i don't have acrylic or shellac i have this on because it's simply like so pretty and yeah i used it like a ton throughout the year and my aunt i've even influenced a few other people to buy it like my aunt bought it and my mom like really loved it um okay so for clothing items i <laughs> work from home so i have been living in sweats i don't really wear much else um other than like leggings but i have bought like five of these shirts and usually when i buy like five of one thing obviously it means i love it and it is the aritzia okay so i have so it is these aritzia tanks you've probably seen them a lot of people have them there's probably a better way to hang them but this is how i hang them and I have them in all different sizes. I don't know why. I think because they go on sale and I just love them so much that I just like literally buy them regardless of like what size they are. Um, but I can't remember the exact name. I think it's the Aritzia perfectly like cropped tank top. I'll get the exact name and write it below or have it linked down below. But it's literally just like the, the most perfect cropped shirt. I have it in white in a medium. I have it in the pink. This is the first one I ever got in a small. But like you see the ends, how it's like cropped, like it just sits so beautifully. And then I wear them in the summer and I wear them in the winter. So I wear them like literally all the time. And then I have a gray and I also have a black, but I don't know where it is right now. But look at the, the cut, like it's like the perfect hem and it just sits so beautifully. And then this one is actually not the same tank top, but it is similar from Aritzia. Yeah, it's a little bit longer. This is called the Sunday Best Connor Tank. And this one I find isn't as flattering on me. I like the other one a little bit better, but this is like another example of another color you could get and the other one. And th this tank comes in like a ton of colors. I'll link it below. And yeah, just like the fit is so flattering. It's like the perfect crop tank top. You can wear it with like cardigans, you can wear it with jackets, you can wear it by yourself in the summer. Ask my friends, like this is literally all I wear in the summer. They're just amazing. You know, 
Blazers are great to get at the thrift store. They're one, affordable, and they're two, usually oversized and super boxy and like the perfect fit, which you can get probably at like Frankie's, whatever that shop is, the Frankie shop that everyone like who's a celebrity and influencer buys that's like literally $300 blazers. Like I don't have money for that. But people who do, people who don't, you can get like the same quality blazer at the thrift store. And this is I think a linen blazer, partially linen. But anyways, it's this beautiful oatmeal color and every single job interview or if I ever have to like look fancy or like actually try, which is pretty rare these days, but I do put this on because it is literally perfect. Like it's great in the summer, it's great in the winter. You can cuff the sleeves. You don't have to cuff the sleeves. It's just such a nice color. It's like really on my complexion. It's like really nice. And yeah, like the thrift store is like the best place to get blazers. I don't find them often, honestly. Sometimes I'm not really sure like what I'm looking for, but this one I literally loved. And I think I did find it in the men's section. So don't be um, just going to the women's, definitely check out the men's section. And I just love this oatmeal color. Like it literally looks like it could be like Wilfred or something. Like okay, now to the land of luxury items, which is a new land for me. I did make quite an extravagant purchase this year. Yeah, crazy, I know, blows my mind. I got a new job at a tech company and I was really proud of myself. The interview process was really intense and the pay was really well and I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna treat myself. So I treated myself. And honestly, the reason why this is one of my favorite purchases of the year, well, I could do a whole review on this bag, honestly, but one of the reasons why it's my favorite purchases is because if you know Chanel, you know Chanel prices go up and up and up. And I got this for, I think around, I can't remember the exact price, but around $2,000. And if you know Chanel, then you know like this, literally it's the same bag. I think it's going for like three or four because it's like the prices just increase so much. Even though you buy a Chanel and it is expensive, it is literally an investment like you will have. Like if you ever just need to sell it, you can sell it because people always buy them. Anyways, I bought it second hand. I bought out the real real. Regarding white, kind of, but I mean, fuck it, right? Like, where is this photo? There's a fo there's a photo from Carrie Bradshaw in Sex and the City. I'm literally gonna insert it here. And you'll see that you just need to buy a Chanel and forget about it. Like as in like just buy the Chanel and like move forward in your life because Literally, I was looking at like Louis Vuitton, I was looking at like Gucci, and I was like, hey, like maybe I shouldn't spend as much, but like, why buy something a little bit cheaper just to save like a few hundred dollars and then like not love it as much as I'd love like a Chanel my whole life? Anyways, so I got the, this is the uh, Chanel, there's two names for it, the chocolate bar bag or the East West Coast flat bag or something. It's pretty much what I call the poor person's version of a classic flap because there's no way in hell I was gonna go into the Chanel store and spend $7,000 on a classic flap. I just don't have that money right now. But I did wanna get like the same type of look. So that's why I got this one and I have kind of fucked it up a bit, I'm not gonna lie. I have damaged the back a bit because I am just really rough with my items and I probably shouldn't have got the white and the lambskin, but I love this bag. It literally is a resemblance of like hard work for me and it's also just something I will literally have for the rest of my life. I just have to be really careful about when I use it. And yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, I love it and it's gonna be in my life forever. So this was definitely my favorite purchase of the year. It was something that I'm so proud of and I can't even believe like I literally own type of a situation. If you have any more questions about my experience with the real real or like buying um, designer uh, vintage items, let me know because I did like a shit ton of research before buying this bag. Like ask anyone who knows me, like I literally spent like hours and hours watching YouTube videos on like vintage Chanel, what's it like buying off the real real versus like any of the other websites and like what to look for when you're buying a designer bag that's vintage and secondhand. But love that. Next, if you don't have one of these, like what are you doing? Health and wellness is huge. The five minute journal, like literally everyone in their, like every other person on YouTube literally talks about this journal. It's the best journal ever. You write in it um, like every morning, like what you're grateful for, what would make today great. Deal My camera just decided to stop recording. Daily affirmations. And then you reflect at the end of the day and say three amazing things that happened today and how could you have made today even better. And I swear to gosh, like I, I have used this journal and manifested things like into my life and i'm not just saying it's because of the journal but i do i truly think like once you write things down and you actually talk them out loud like they're more likely to come true because you are like talking them into existence like i know that sounds kind of like eh, like i used to not believe in that stuff but like truly like since writing things down and reflecting back like it has made more things become 
achievable in my life, I swear. So yeah, I love this book. I write in it every single day, this journal and every single night, and it has been such a pleasant experience in my life, and I just, I, I love doing it. So if you don't have this, it's like, I think it's around 20 or 30 dollars Canadian and honestly it's worth every penny. I know people who like buy like other versions on Amazon and stuff that aren't the same and like yeah you can do that but I swear this one is literally the best and the first beginning bit is like a huge chunk on like why reflecting is good and like how you should use this journal and stuff so it's not just like get the journal and do the journal like there's like an educational piece at the beginning which I really So the last item is my couch and the reason why my couch is one of my best purchases of this year is because literally my whole apartment and one day I could probably do an apartment tour if you want that, is used items. I get all my shit off Facebook Marketplace or like Craigslist. Like I just don't like spending like thousands of dollars on furniture. I just don't know whether I'm gonna be in Vancouver long term. I change my mind all the time. I knew I wanted a white couch. Why am I gonna go and like spend thousands of dollars on a white couch that might get ruined? Obviously, I would love the rest. Obviously, I'd love the restoration hardware cloud couch. I mean, who wouldn't? I opted for this couch instead, which is the Ikea Harlanda couch, and I love it. Honestly, it's such a great couch. It's like such a great do before the restoration hardware couch. If you're looking to spend under a grand and you want this couch, I think it was like, actually, I think like with taxes and everything, it was like 1,000 flat, but it's such a great couch. It's so comfortable. All these cushions are removable, and it's literally just, it brings me so much joy. Like, I've always wanted a white couch, and I couldn't find the best type of white couch. I looked at all these different like dupes for the restoration hardware cloud couch and then I found this one and it's been such a great purchase. Like I just love it and it's always sold out so you kind of have to get like on the list for notifications to, for it to be restocked but once it is restocked highly recommend getting it. Like my boyfriend put it together in literally like an hour or so and yeah it's great. Such a great couch. It's comfortable. I like I have friends who sleep over or like I'll sleep on it. It literally can be like a single bed because like it just has so much space so yeah I love that. So those are all my favorites for the year of 2021. Just some items that brought joy to my life in this past year and some things that you guys might like to purchase or I don't know, potentially have in your life. I, if anything, the five minute journal, honestly, it's the best, have this in your life. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.